like uh, this big big piece is um, uh, part of the main mast. Am I right, Dan? That? That's a big timber on the left. Seems to be the mast. I don't that know. is correct, and then this is a probably the amidships area yeah. of the ship that's split in two. Both halves are actually facing the same way. Um, this is a, appears to be a, a cargo of lumber. Yeah, it seems finally to be, yeah. stacked. Some of which is shaped. Well, obviously it's shaped into yeah, its so well into its general uh, shape, but there are also some of the timbers that have holes Please drilled into them. I see. Uh, so you ready uh, to hand over the center? Yeah, bottom center. Yeah. Just want to see how that okay, can we timber would fit into the there? mass step. Yeah. And we want to back up and look down. Okay, mm -hmm. Rich, let's try that again. These small, seemingly small details I'm about the woodworking and construction on the ship can be very helpful in identifying the period in which it was built. Okay, this is not working. That's uh, almost there, Carl. Okay. Now this is where it gets interesting, Harun. Yes. So perfectly parallel. Can I but then look at these timbers. Here? Yeah, uh, that's okay. the tip of the mast as yeah. before. So you have this, and then you have these two in this. It looks like. There's another small boat, or maybe a deck got displaced, and it's come to lay down we'll on to top to of the frame. Exactly yes. <laughs> it's one of these bottom lines. That's really this annoying. Yeah. <laughs> Very interesting. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So if you guys look in the foreground yeah. or the distance, okay. there's the mast that we just looked at before with the hole, the two holes at the top. Uh, they're right. Okay. We're right in front of us, but we're on the other side of it. So what we want to do now is, is simply turn it, do a 180, and then follow the strike of this wreck all the way to its end. This looks pretty good. So what are these structures so, here? So the, the squared timbers that, that are parallel are frames mm -hmm. or ribs that have been flattened out. The whole wreck has been flattened. So just imagine a, yeah. a model ship flattened out to with be a vertical. rolling pin. And uh, so there are planks underneath. And can you fake Argus for a minute and brighten up, brighten up Argus as much as you can? And the planks on top are called Just ceiling strakes. Uh, They're it's not what protect the frames yeah. from cargo. All right, thanks. Uh. Hard to say. I think this is a double ender, which makes it very difficult to figure out which end is oh. which. There's no anchors to indicate a bow, unfortunately. Yeah. So it looks like this is the keel of the ship right here on the right, this big timber. And it has fragments of a shoe on it to protect it, the very bottom of it, or a false keel. And uh, we want to uh, come a little bit closer in and get some, a couple of shots of that. Yeah, you got tons okay. of room. Look at Argus.